everyone, and welcome back to Eureka Pyros! We went next to Cryo, but no, no, I'm going to run all the way over here! Because, I mean, uh, yeah, I could have started over here, but I wanted to mislead you! Let's... Ooh, why would we be going in here first? Gerald? Let's actually unequip this first. There you go! Yeah, rather, you get your weapon all rented light! Augment Eureka weapon and elemental grim war, you say? Alright, let's see the rest of the required materials then, I. Yeah, 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 uh, looks like we're all set. Give it all you yeah, and I'll get to work. Elemental grim war, pop. 150 pyros crystals. Oh, I need so many more of these, but I'm so excited to finally get fucking stage one! Right then, sit tight and I'll get started. Tink, 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 tink. Oh, no, no, tink, tink, tink. Heh, <laughs> right, so where have I is? I've poured the power of power I sent you at it and given her a new lease on life. Don't you try to think that's the best I can do, though? With the right knowledge and materials, I'm certain we could push her even further. Wow, that was garbage. I admire enthusiasm, but I reckon my knowledge of me memory is a might lacking to augment that weapon further. Best get back to manipulate to the manipulator and see if you can uh, can get us more research data. All right, so yes, we need to talk to old Drakey boy. Which we have indeed leveled up to the next one. We'll get you in a minute, Krail. Thank you so much for your hard work, sir. As you may have guessed, we've made another breakthrough in our research. Master Gerald wished to speak with you as well on this momentous occasion. Well done, lad. All your messing about at the manipulator of ours has paid off. I ain't some. Bring me a weapon and the various tidbits I need. Quick now, I'm itching to put this new method of mine to the proof. I'm sure it won't take you a million years. Since you need another like 200 crystals I think. And then I think the last 300. Full glad am I to see him th so enthusiastic. Even if it is a bit frightening. You may enhance your unique weapon further upon re recording 30 or more unique entries in the Logos action log and speaking with Drake. Alright, so... Time to correct something I said in the last video. I presumed it was going to be 10 unlock, 20 unlock, 30 unlock, 50 final. Turns out that's not the case. It's 10, 20, 30, done. 50 is what you need to unlock the somewhat boring and ugly armor. But I do have a fair few. I feel like I can get five more quite easily. But let's go and see what he asks for because I feel like we're going to need something more than just crystals. Yep, we got the plus one. 181, so yeah, 200. Uh, when all grant you may procure that makes it seem like you only need the three hundred uh, the two hundred huh okay and I have like so many logograms simply just because of the fact that I didn't want to activate the quest before recording well let's do these and just see what we get Eh. Eh. Eh, not bad. Then we'll get all of the QIs. See, that's just not bad. I should be able to make a few things, maybe even five with that. Anyways, 
Let's go talk to Cryo. Finally. Actually, no. First, let us re-equip our elemental grimoire plus one. Which is like significantly worse because it's got less materia slots and it's like eh actually wait a minute um do I have anything that is showing no I don't think I've got anything that can... Ah! See? Copy of that equipped. Ah! There we go. So... Hey! Perfect! So... It's like... Vitality? Higher. Intelligence? Higher. Determination and crit? Higher. But material slots significantly lower. So also I guess magic attacks went up by one. So I wouldn't say it's better, but whatever. Oh, let's get rid of this. Krail, what news have you? I know this is sudden, but I have to ask. You didn't stumble across a piece of magicite recently, did you? No. Uh, I was afraid you might say no. You see, I've been tracking a number of confluences. But before I could pinpoint their exact location, each vanished without a trace. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, given that the ethereal current currents have become more stable as a result, but... But I cannot believe this is a natural occurrence. Magicite doesn't simply vanish on its own, which leaves me to believe someone is collecting it. Not for you, if not you, then that leaves a Chica? But even if she is trying to help, she could at least let us know. And if she's not doing it for us, then that leads me to wonder why. Until we meet again, though, we can only carry on with our o with our original plans. There's one confluence I've located in Western Flame Rock that has yet to dissipate. If you would be so kind as to hasten to it and retrieve it, I would be most grateful. All right, where's Western Flame Rock? All right, so it's up here. So I'm guessing I th I'm sure that I've seen this linked before it's gonna be right next to the crystal a uh, common egg quarry do 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 uh, well I can't see it so let's see if I'm right about it being this way and then if I'm not right time to do some searching Ba, 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 ba. All right, so I was a little bit off. It's actually here. And now I'm trapped between a rock and a hard bear. Come on, bear. Turn around. I can literally see it. Ah, brilliant. Confluence. Horrifyingly close to that lava. I mean, that's terrifying. At the center of the confluence of ether, you find a shimmering stone, magicite. As you kneel to retrieve it, the confluence dissipates. And that's it. Okay. I expected something. I guess not. All right, Kryl, I've got the Magicite. At least if nothing else, I'm definitely high enough level that we can do the next quest. Welcome back. I take it you have a Magicite for me? That I do. And Ajika was nowhere to be found, was she? 
Not that I expect us to get that lucky again. As for me and my research, I think I'm getting closer and closer to under understanding Grandfather's intent in reversing the flow. You forgive me if I refrain from divulging my theories until I am more confident, though. I wouldn't want to look a fool. Fair enough. We continue at 45. How convenient! Oh, a cutscene straight away. It's so simple, Alex. How could I have not seen it earlier? Uh, okay. It's a massive ward. One which encompasses the whole of the Isle. By diverting the ethereal currents as they did, Grandfather and the others transformed the Isle of Val into an arcane ward. That is something. But that was only the beginning, for what Grandfather later realized was that by inverting the pattern and reversing the ethereal flow, the primal could be dra slowly drained of ether, eventually killing it once and for all. Now that's actually very interesting. Oh, how to explain. Ah, it's like your Magia board. Yes, imagine the entire Isle of Varl is one ma giant Magia board. Not exactly, of course, but close enough. Every confluence marks a blockage of the ethereal flow reducing the effectiveness of the board, but with every blockage removed, the effectiveness increases, and the ward holding the primal in place grows stronger. On second thought, that's not all at all similar to the magic board, but never mind that. The important thing is that removing the blockages is key to strengthening the ward, and to that end, we've made great strides. But, as it was with Pagos and Adamos before, we cannot simply clear the smaller blockages to call it a day. To completely restore the flow within a given region, we need to, in essence, align certain key points. Where were I to return to my rather poor metaphor of the Magia board, there would be... What, what's that? Analogous? Analogous? Analogs? To, piece, to pieces to match site, perhaps. Ah, oh, would be anal That doesn't look like how I'd spell analogs, but maybe I've been spelling it wrong. Analogies? That might be it, analogies, yeah. Naturally, given the scale of the ward in question, the, these would need to be far larger than the pieces in our possession. For a region the size of Pyros, we would need at least four... Four what? Four etherites? Giant spinning... Giant spinning crystal thingies. Giant spinning what now? Are you struggling to describe an etherite? By the twelve! For whatever inexplicable reason, I simply cannot help but miss the most obvious solution. I wonder if this is why the founders were so devoted to this study of etheric technologies. All the while, they were constructing an ethernet to serve a second secret purpose. I'm glad you're here to show me the light, Alex. Oh, God. Gods! For a moment, I thought that was an earthquake. Mm, nothing quite so natural, I presume. I sense a disturbance to the ether. But this does not make any... Oh no! We have to go to the Proto-Etherite right now! Okay...
No, no, no! This is all wrong! It was working perfectly fine before. How could this have happened? How indeed! Chica, what have you done? Oh, there's that music. I have removed a rather vexing impediment from the equation. The proto-etherite was integral to the ward. You knew, and yet you, you, help me understand, Jika. As if either of you could, uh, oh, as if either of you ever could. No, I think I'll let him do the talking. Breaker of chains, thou hast kept the faith. The covenant is forged. Bear our just and true, hand worthy to wield the blade. Yes, that is definitely similar to Zantetsugen. And what a magnificent blade it is! Pure ether by my reckoning. Perhaps the finest blade ever forged. All I that I wanted and more. I kinda hope that this is a reference to what the final stage of the weapon's gonna be like. I somehow doubt it though. Such strength is now mine to command. To use as I see fit. Is this the power that sets your heart racing, O oh brave and beloved adventurer? When you could hold your enemy's life in your hands? This isn't you, Jika. Don't you see? The primal is clouding your mind. O oh dearest Kryl, you could not be more wrong. I see it all so clearly now. With open eyes I have welcomed this power into my being, welcomed the glory of Eureka into my heart. In light he walketh, or she as it should have been, and in light she abideth, as did the one before who tried and failed to lay us low. But now we have a champion. Oh, Chica, don't do this! Don't let it make you its thrall! I am, and ever will be, my own master cryer. I will wait for you within the tower, at its prison. But be warned, I will not wait forever. Chica! I don't know what to do. I think that's fairly simple. We go at the tower and we kick Eureka's ass. I, I don't know what to do. Even after reinforcing the frame, it's not enough to stabilize the internal components. At this rate, we will never get it up and running again. If we were in Charlie and Motherland, perhaps, I'd have all the necessary equipment at my disposal. But it's on the other side of the world. Not only did Ajika destabilize the regional ethernet, I fear she may have shattered the ward Grandfather and the others put in place. If so, there is nothing stopping Eureka from feeding upon the ether currents. Eventually, it will be strong enough to shatter the barrier encompassing our headwaters. And once that happens, it's all over. Hmm. 
He succumbed to the primal influence. She's succumbed to the primal influence, hasn't she? I refuse to say hey. I don't want be to believe it, but after everything she said and did. How did it come to this? Just when I felt like we were so, so close to getting things right. Oh, if ever there was a time I wish Grandfather were here to offer his advice. Oh, advice you shall have. keep my eyes open. If I have to spend another night slaving away for the sake of ethereal experiments. For someone so exhausted, you clearly have enough energy to whine. As if it's not taking its toll on you too. I can see it in your face and hear it in your increasingly curt expression or instructions. What you call curt, I call efficient. If you're so concerned about whiling away the hours, you could spare me the idle chit-chatter and leave me to my work. Not all of us can coast on reputation and God's given blessing. Ah, uh, Echika, I'm not looking for another fight. I'm here to help. You can help by, by being anywhere but here. I have matters well in hand, and do not require your assistance whatsoever. Oh, you mean now that you've, we've slow, solved these thorny problems which drove you to come to me in the first place? Why am I not surprised that once again you're pushing me away the moment you've no longer, you no longer have need of me? Ugh. I knew this was going to happen. Did you now? Then why did you come here? By the twelve, Ajika, I don't hate you. I've never hated you. You've ex you're exhausting and annoying and rude and a bloody pain to work with. But you're also driven and clever and by God's help me, I actually enjoy your company. And I think you, your research has merit and I want to see you succeed. Is that really so hard to believe? If that, if you're going to stay, then you should at least make yourself useful. Oh, Krylajika, you two really do make a wonderful pair. We do not! Oh, grandpappy. Whoop. Excuse me? Ah, oh, we're here now. Oh, favorite off straight into a cutscene. Makes sense, though, the way that they did that. Judging from your vi that vacant stare of yours, I could only assume that you were walking in my memories. More, yeah, 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 I was. He, she's always been like that, I suppose. Ever eager to take on the most challenging work. Ever unwilling to admit she needs help unless pressed. And then quick to dismiss it after the fact. To someone like me, someone who's accustomed to navigating social circles and being mindful of what people think, she completely and utterly... Wait. She completely and... Complete and utter... Her, not she. Her complete and utter disregard for the opinion of others was, quite frankly, admirable. In a way, I envied her. I know I'm totally ruining this story, but whatever. I shouldn't be thinking about her like this. Like she's forever lost to us. We must carry on and do what must be done 
when the time comes. I am going to need time to re-evaluate our, our situation and determine the best course of action. Hmm. You may continue the Eureka Expedition upon reaching Elemental Level 50. Nuns up, fair enough. I guess that was you, you walking back over here. So, yeah, basically, my task from here is to get another five Logos actions and level up another three times, which, as it goes, is fairly easy. The Logos actions might not be quite as easy, although getting another five should be fairly simple. Whereas getting 50 is going to be pretty difficult. Anywho, let's head over here. Next to the man who has his gr grinding trials face. And thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.